So when Juan Diego was beatified, it was something that was meaningful to me on a personal and professional level because ever since I was a child, my mother was a big fan of the Virgin of Guadalupe and I remember her taking me on this pilgrimage um, often uh, to, um, to the church to visit the Virgin of Guadalupe whenever she requested something and prayed to her and, and it would come true, she you know, promised to, to take us. So, you know, as an adult, I said, oh, you know, this is, this is something special, this is something meaningful. And professionally, I think it was very important to have uh, this figure uh, in Mexico that was a controversial figure, but he was also uh, a cultural icon in Mexico. Uh, it was important to go and be there and, and to cover it. And also, this was um, one of the many trips of Pope John Paul II to Mexico. And as you know, that was one of his favorite countries. And he was embraced in Mexico. Uh, whenever he arrived in, in a massive way. So the Pope was to arrive for the beatification of, um, of Juan Diego. And we knew that during the time of his arrival, the Mexican government was going to take over and, um, and only allow uh, their feed and no one else could transmit at that time. And we were trying to do a one hour special live show with his arrival. So we pre-taped most of the things we prepared. We did interviews, we did stories, and we were ready to go. As soon as the Pope would arrive, we would start our, our program. And he was scheduled to arrive at whatever time, whatever time it was. And we thought, okay, so what if he's late? We, we need a contingency plan. So we taped and taped and taped and had another separate tape that said, um, ladies and gentlemen, Pope John Paul II is arriving in Mexico, and here it is, and here he is. So we had that ready and we had it taped and we knew that whenever he would arrive and that we would go to that tape where it says, okay, he's here. Um, well, time was going by and we were, we were already on the air. We had started our program and the Pope was supposed to arrive and he was supposed to be off the plane and five minutes passed and he wasn't off the plane and 10 minutes passed and he was still on the plane and he wasn't off the plane. We said, oh my God, what are we gonna do if the tape ends, and, and I have this at the end saying, here is the Pope, and we were trying to go to the live shot and take the live shot from the Mexican government to see it open. And it didn't happen, it didn't happen, and we were getting very, very nervous. And for some reason, the moment the tape ended, and I said, here's the Pope, the door opened. My, my producer and I were so nervous. I remember her falling to her knees, Marilyn Strauss, and she said, Thank you, Juan Diego. That was a miracle of Juan Diego. He deserves to be canonized because it was thanks to Juan Diego that the Pope got there just in time for us not to go to black because that would have been very embarrassing uh, for us to go to black or for me to somehow come back and say, well, he's not really there, but he will be there soon. And we couldn't do that because we couldn't go live anymore because it, the, the signal was being blocked by the Mexican government. Whew. So, you know, that was one of those many close calls that I think you have when you are um, when you are um, going live and thank God now for um, all these other technologies that we have that allow us to go uh, live from the middle of the desert without depending on, on a signal from, from any government. Uh, but at that time, we were definitely still very dependent on them.